so today, so today we're going to add decoration to the face because sugar skulls are highly decorative. They're not just empty, uh, plain old, plain old. So you can decide upon your color. And right now I'm going to do some cheek decoration. And I'm going to fold this in half because I want two identical shapes. I can maybe cut off the excess if it's in my way. And I'm going to do kind of like a curved heart just because I think that looks kind of interesting, but you could do circle cheeks, you could do dots, you could do flowers, you could do something with a keyhole or something that looks like a flame or a diamond. And remember that I'm gonna flip over that pencil and I'm gonna play around with how this looks if I like that. Do I want one up, one down? Do I want them both up? And I think I'm satisfied with this. So I'm going to glue those on. But arrange it first and play with it to decide what you like. And we talked about layering, adding excitement. So I'm going to do at least a little something on those. And I think I'm going to bring the green back in. I think I'm even just going to do like, I don't know, a little curved line right down the middle. Things don't have to be super complicated to be good. I'm going to glue these on. Sometimes teeny objects are easier to put the glue right on the paper. And if it moves around a little bit from the wet glue, just put it back in position. And I'm going to think about a little something on the forehead area. I think in this case, I want it to kind of come downward. And to get the curve of the head, to know that it's going to fit, I'm going to use my template, trace just the top, because that's all I really am needing on this. And I'm going to decide what shape I want to kind of have hanging down. And I think in this case, I might do hmm, even just that heart again, maybe but a little wider, more spread out, maybe like this. And I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to see if I like it. If I don't, I can try something else. This part here should fit because I traced it from my template. Kind of looks like a drip. And I'm not going to place it with the pencil. It doesn't look as nice. I'm going to flip it over like that. And I'm going to add a little bit of layering on that just to spice it up a little bit. And maybe this time I'll do a diamond. If you can envision it in your mind, you don't have to draw it. it. Just depends. Everybody thinks differently. Put a diamond on here. And now the face is starting to look pretty decorative. My final completion of the project, I'm going to add something exciting to the corners. Um, spirals are fun to make. If you start by tracing a circle circle it's not too tiny trace a circle cut this out what you do to make a spiral is I just go in a bit and then I'm going to turn these scissors and I'm going to just go around 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 turning with this hand around 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 but then I need to go back and remove some of this so I'm going to put my scissors on the edge and I'm going to remove some of this paper so that the spiral is visible now I can see it and you actually get two I could just trim this a bit and have two spirals if I want to layer this which I think I do I can glue it onto something because that has to go underneath first. Don't worry about that. You can wipe it up. 
and maybe turn this one into a flower just with some curves. Curve, 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 curve. Kind of a flower. And I'm going to add decorations to my corners. If you want something to fit directly in a corner, if you use a piece that hasn't really been cut into, you get a 90 degree angle. And if I hold this down here, that fits. And I can decide upon some kind of shape. And I can cut on this line and get a corner decoration in that way. Again, flip your pencil, flip that over, and I could get a cool corner decoration. Glue it on. And don't forget about a little bit of layering. See how much more exciting that looks when there's more than one color and more than one layer? Okay, friends, I can't wait to see yours.